Hello friends, welcome to ANSYS Tutor. In this tutorial, we are going to simulate simulate vortex shading behind a rotated square cylinder in ANSYS Fluent. So, what we will learn in this tutorial? We are going to learn how to create the 2D geometry that is a rotated square of 24 degree. We are going to mesh this geometry using the phase splitting method. In the part 2 of this tutorial, then we are going to set up the unsteady flow transient solver in fluent or laminar flow. We are going to capture the vortex trading using the animations and we are going to analyze the drag and lift on the rotated square. So let's start. Start with creating the geometry in ANSYS design modeler. Click on geometry. Select analysis type as 2D and right click and select new design modeler geometry. Go to XY plane, make the sketch normal to the screen. Now go to sketching. We are going to draw a polygon, select the polygon option, enter the number of sides as 4, select the origin as the Starting point of the polygon. Go to dimensions. Select one side of the polygon. Right click and select it as length or distance. Make sure you should not keep it as vertical or horizontal dimensions. Put the side of the square as 1 meter. Now we are going to rotate this square about 24 degree in anti clockwise direction now go to modify and select move tool select the r r is the rotation angle and f is the scaling factor we do not need scaling so we keep the f is equal to 1 now select all the sides of the square right click and select end user let origin as handle. Now this selected portion will be selected from the origin. Then right click and select rotate by minus r. Minus r is the angle that we have set in the move toolbar. And the square has been rotated about 24 degree. Now select the origin. Click and place at the origin. Then right click and click on end. This is our rotated square. Now go to dimensions and put angle. Right click and select alternate angle. Now again alternate angle. Now, this is the 66 degree. This means the square has been rotated by 24 degree about clockwise direction. Now, we are going to create a outer fluid domain around this square. For this, again go to XY plane. Select the rectangle tool, the draw toolbar. And then draw a rectangle around this square. Go to sketching toolbar, go to constants, select the symmetry, select the x axis and the two sides of this rectangle. Now go to dimensions, select the x axis, select the y axis and the sides of this rectangle. Put all the dimensions. Keep the domain length as 20 meter. Make sure 
we are drawing the outer in the same sketch in which the square has been drawn. Now put all the dimensions. Keep the rectangle length as 20 and width as 10 meter. A sketch is complete. Now we are going to convert this 2D sketch into a 2D surface. For this, we need to go to Concept tab and select Surface from Sketches. Select the any one side of this sketch, then click on Apply, Generate. This is the 2D surface required for our analysis. Now we are going to split this 2D surface so that may should be done according to the splitting surfaces. Now you are going to draw two vertical lines besides this square and two horizontal lines nearby this square. Now put dimensions. Put horizontal and vertical dimensions of the lines. Now we are going to convert these lines to the line body. For this, go to go to concept menu and select lines from the sketches. Select this sketch, then click on apply, then generate. Now these lines has been converted into a line body. Now we are going to project this line body onto this 2D surface. Now go to tools menu and select projection. Now select the line bodies as the edges. Then click on apply. Select the surface, click on apply, then click on generate. Now you can see the surface has been splitted into nine parts. We can suppress the line body now. The main region behind this it will mesh the total entire outer domain properly. So go to now meshing, click on edit. Now we are going to apply edge sizing to each edges of this splitted surfaces. Right click on the mesh, turn on the adaptive sizing up to resolution up to 7, insert edge sizing. Select the edge selection and select all the parallel edges. Now click on apply. Select the type as number of divisions. Select the behavior as hard and enter the number of divisions. The number of divisions is up to 40. Now insert another edge sizing, right click on the mesh, insert and sizing. Select so all these four edges and put the number of divisions. Select so the behavior as hard. Similarly, insert another edge sizing. For the middle horizontal edges, enter the number of divisions. Select the behavior as hard. Insert another edge sizing. Do the edge sizing as shown in this picture and number of divisions. So that you would get a better results.
नंबर ऑफ डिविजन्स अप टू 40 एंड बिहेवियर ऑफ जी हार्ट नाउ गो टू मैस एंड इंसर्ट अ फेस साइजिंग आई सेलेक्ट ऑल द फोर एजेस ऑफ दिस स्क्वायर स्क्वायर एंड पुट नंबर ऑफ डिविजन्स अप टू 50 Now let's insert a phase meshing all these outer surfaces except the middle one. Then click on generate mesh. Here in this mesh, you would observe that all the outer cells has been structured, and this middle one is little bit unstructured. we are going to analyze as due to this spatially splitting this has been this types of meshing has been obtained now we are going to put the name selections to all the boundary surfaces of this geometry select all these three splitted edges and name it as inlet Select the top wall and bottom wall. And name it as wall. You can also name it as symmetry. As we are going to apply the symmetry boundary condition on these two. This is because due to symmetry boundary condition, there would be no boundary layer formation or any complex calculations, computational time on these surfaces. I select the outer outlet surface and name it as outlet. Now we are going to put name tag to the square. Select all the sides of the square and select name selection. Name it as square wall. And click on OK. Right click on the mesh and click select update mesh. The mesh has been linked with the fluent solver. Close the meshing. and proceed for solver setup in fluent we are going to see this setup and the post processing results in our next part thank you